Apart from his blue hair, Akira Cotton is just like any other boy his age. Except for the fact he's got type 1 diabetes. Hi, I'm Daryl Bazer from the South today on World Diabetes Day, November the 14th. About to meet Akira Cotton, who was diagnosed earlier this year with type 1 diabetes. Let's see if we can track the young man down. Finding him in the playground, Akira shows us what he's got to carry with him, as well as school books, and explains the insulin injections he's got to have around six times a day. You can do it in your thigh, I'm pretty sure, which is really disgusting. And um, in your stomach. I do it in my stomach and sometimes it bleeds and it really feels horrible, but it's alright. Usually it's good. He wrote a report outlining the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes for his school. Akira says the diagnosis changed his life, as he wasn't feeling fit and healthy. Better, much better than, it, than I was originally. What, what sort of things were happening uh, for you when you, when you first, yeah, before you found out that's what you had? Felt really tired, weak, really angry, couldn't really do much. Akira Cotton hopes people can learn the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, especially when it comes to funding. He understands both versions of the illness are under the same funding umbrella. But he says type 1 just happens to people, whereas type 2 typically comes as a result of poor dietary choices. Daryl Bazer, The South Today.